This pilot action concerned a randomized controlled trial set up by Prolepsis in Greece and Philips in the Netherlands to test whether a particular e-coaching application has effects on physical activity and well-being, as well as intentions, attitudes and perceived behavioral control towards future goals in terms of uh, physical activity. The experiment took uh, place uh, among uh, participants of low socioeconomic status in Greece and uh, the Netherlands. There are many e-coaching applications available, but a rigorous evaluation concerning its effectiveness uh, have never really taken place. Um, more so, uh, people from low socioeconomic status backgrounds have uh, scarcely participated in such research. We randomly allocated participants in a control and an experimental group. We matched for gender and uh, age. And uh, participants met certain criteria related to low uh, SES background, uh, physical activity levels and uh, good uh, health. All participants filled in questionnaires and the experimental uh, group uh, participants were provided with an app, uh, an application, which was basically a wristwatch connected to a mobile phone that tracked uh, physical activity levels. We organized an information session for the participants of the experimental group to explain to them how the application worked. Uh, participants of both control and experimental groups filled in questionnaires on week 6 and week uh, 19. Uh, at the end of the experiment, uh, participants were offered a reimbursement as part of an incentive agreed, while participants of the experimental group were offered to keep the watch if they wanted. Our findings showed a moderate positive effect on physical activity after using the watch for six weeks. The effect was more uh, evident after three, a three-month uh, follow-up period. Uh, it was interesting that these effects uh, became more evident among people who had a more sedentary lifestyle as measured um, at uh, baseline. The lifestyle e-coaching intervention that took place in the Netherlands and in Greece had a particular approach to addressing the issue of equity. Because it's commonly thought that uh, the use of lifestyle coaching apps on smartphones is effective amongst those who are engaged with it, usually middle class. Um, it can encourage them to increase their physical activity, but it's there's very little actually known about whether it works across society and it is, off, is equally useful amongst those who are less advantaged in poorer groups. So the focus of that particular study, the lifestyle e-coaching study, was to select a group of people from the lower socioeconomic groups and to test the use of this lifestyle e-coaching app among that, amongst that group. And that particular approach did show that you know, the myth that apps could only be effective amongst people who are engaged, who are affluent and had the time to, to use the apps uh, was, was wrong. And that in fact, it can be effective, equally effective amongst poor groups. Not only that, but those who are least active seem to benefit most in that study. Besides the effects on uh, physical activity levels, we also found that um, experimental group participants compared to the control group had uh, higher probabilities of uh, scoring higher on their well-being uh, scores. So we can conclude that this e-coaching application has positive effects on uh, physical uh, activity levels among people of low socioeconomic status, both in uh, Greece and in the Netherlands. A, a key uh, factor of success of this experiment was definitely the good collaboration between uh, Philips and uh, Prolepsis, although in two different countries we were able to uh, bring the experiment to good results. As with all experimental research, we stressed about the factors that we could not uh, control. So we stressed about confounding uh, variables. We tried to minimize bias through our sampling uh, procedure. Um, we stratified by age and uh, gender, and also through our statistical uh, analysis. In our models, we tried to control for, control for as many um, variables, confounding variables as possible. For example, we controlled for SES uh, status, 
for physical activity levels at baseline, for age and gender and country. We tried to minimize bias through our sampling procedure. We stratified for age and for gender, and also through our statistical analysis. Our models uh, controlled for as many uh, confounding variables as possible, for example, uh, socioeconomic status, physical activity levels uh, at baseline, as measured at baseline, uh, gender, age, uh, country, etc. Uh, the main lessons that we found from this experiment were that regardless of country, this e-coaching application seems to have positive effects on uh, physical activity and uh, well-being. So we consider this a triple win uh, because there, is, there are positive effects on the environment, our participants engaged in active um, moving, uh, so there were no um, negative um, effects on the environment. It, we improved uh, health and well-being. And of course, this experiment took place among people of low SES, so we had an impact, uh, a positive impact on equity. Although um, more research has to take place uh, with other e-coaching applications and in other countries, there are implications um, for health professionals and also policymakers in the insurance sectors. We can urge that they provide uh, similar e-coaching applications to people of low socioeconomic status free of charge. One of the things that our participants uh, notified us about or expressed their concern was uh, who has access to their uh, personal data. So this is an issue that we need to consider. Ethical issues need to be considered if we are going to go further with these um, applications.